and then the glitches will look like this. They're not consistent, but every once in a while there will be several frames that you will consider maybe rendering without motion blur or like you have to do something with it. Hi guys, my name is Barodante, and let's talk about motion blur and cycles. I'm talking about motion blur when you're trying to render something complicated, maybe it involves geometry nodes, maybe you would create a model that has a little bit tiny displacement going on underneath a decimate modifier, to create this cool effect of changing the topology of your character all the time. Looks cool, but Cycles is gonna completely mess it up with motion blur. So I ran into this issue many times when I was working on different projects, and I think many of you guys would have the same problem as well, so I decided to make a video like this. I have about three different situations that I know of that trigger glitches of motion blur, and I have also about three ways of fixing it. So uh, let me show you guys real quick the results, like what exactly I'm talking about. When you look through your animation in cycles in actual viewport you won't see any problems of course because viewport never has motion blur but I pre-rendered several versions right here to show you guys what it looks like so here's what it looks like when we <laughs> render this man with constantly changing topology with motion blur in cycles so this happens because motion blur evidently it relies on like the numbers of vertices in a mesh as it's moving around, especially when it's about deformation motion blur, where it's not just about how the object is moving in space or scaling or rotating, but about how each vertex of it is changing, whether it's shape keys or displacement or some kind of modifier like that. And if we apply decimate on top of some kind of deformation, forcing it to create absolutely new topology, every frame, which is literally what the style is about, then of course it will be thinking that, oh, that number of the vertex was over here and the next frame is over there, then I'm creating a huge motion blur from one point to another, and that's why this is happening. This is You can see how numbers are jumping all over the model with each frame. And the way to fix this particular style without, of course, turning off motion blur. Any kind of glitch with motion blur is can always be fixed with just turning off all the motion blur. But I really think that motion blur is a solid part of correct rendering. Like, you, you can't just turn off all motion blur. Unless there's, like, specific styles and everything, but generally. In this case, of course, this is, like, a stylistic thing. I would say, like, what would we even expect? from motion blur to do here you know we will literally rebuild the model each frame so it shouldn't really have a motion blur it didn't move from one point to another it's like recreated so the way to fix this is we click on the object and we go into this motion blur section in its uh, object properties and we don't disable it we disable the deformation motion blur so the result looks like this i also increase the movement of this wiggly uh, curve right here that by the way didn't take part in any glitches of motion blur that I was trying to show. I just wasn't able to trigger it. It, it was triggered in one of my projects when I was using these geometry nodes uh, on, on these curves right here, but um, that project is not published yet, so I can't show you the actual situation. Uh, but right here, I uh, also added the actual movement to the character, so we can see that in here, in the changing of the vertices, there is no motion blur, but when it's actually moving around, let me go frame by frame here, we can see there is definitely motion blur going on from just moving of the whole object with its origin in space. So yeah, this is definitely the way to fix it. You just remove the deformation motion blur from one object. Another object still has its deformation motion blur going on, even though it's kind of hard to see with even this fast movement but sometimes it would show a little bit of motion blur, like right here, for instance. So everything else has proper motion blur and everything, including even this object's movement. So definitely problem solved here. But here we have another example right here. 
So in this case, this object just looks like this. So it just has pretty low topology and then there is just deformation on it. There is no recalculation of topology at all. And it has auto smooth on. So whenever there's sharp angle between two polygons, it will draw a sharp edge between those polygons and the rest will be smooth. And it's kind of like auto updating as it's moving. While on its own, it's already an issue. Of course, it's a bug and you would fix it by turning off auto smooth. But in many cases, maybe the deformation is a lot simpler maybe it would just bend like a little part of the object where it looks fine and then the whole object will have huge issues with motion blur and then the glitches will look like this they're not consistent but every once in a while there will be several frames that you will consider maybe rendering without motion blur or like you have to do something with it and like why is it happening so yeah in this case it's obvious why it's happening you need to go into the settings of the actual mesh right here object data properties and yeah right here we can see this auto smooth is on this is what's recalculating the sharpness of the edges based on the curvature and one thing i used to think would work to fix this would be to store these custom split normal data like this info if you store it you'll notice that if we go forward in animation the split normals they're not updated anymore they're sticking to the same condition that they had in that one frame so that's how you kind of stop it from constantly updating so if you generally have some sharp edges that you liked on the object but they will probably make no sense in the actual deformation animation that you're adding then you can just store Store it and this will get grayed out but it's still kind of auto smooth but it's just relying on that one frame that you stored and it will stick to it so this way there's like no update to these normals that's why there will be no glitches I thought <laughs> but the problem is when I did that it almost worked fine but at the end I still got a few glitches there's less of them only at the end here but they still happened uh, then I also tried to store everything all the information and I still got a little bit of glitches and they're kind of random in different places but it still happened uh, when I stored like all of these all of this data so that didn't really work and the only thing that does work is just turning off auto smooth you just shouldn't be using it and actually there's a good reason not to use it pretty much ever because if you're using like smoothing on your object like subdivision in here right now it says using both CPU and GPU sub division which is great it means it's fast it's a relatively new feature in blender but if you have auto smooth on it will say auto smooth or custom normals detected disabling gpu subdivision so you can't do that when there's custom normals and of course if you are subdividing you don't need auto smooth at all and you don't need custom normals because Subdivision just smooths everything anyway. So I feel like it should be the kind of thing that disables automatically when you're adding subdivision, but I guess that's not the way modifiers work. So yeah, the only way to fix this was just turning off auto smooth. And then of course I had no issues with motion blur. And yeah, of course I'm not trying uh, turning off the deformation motion blur, which would of course work if I would turn this off. No glitches would happen with any kind of normals, whether even if they would look like this or stored. Turning off deformation motion blur would work just great. But what if you have like fast deformations that you want to see motion blur from? Then you would have to turn off auto smooth. That's like the best way to do it. And yeah, I have this final example right here where I just have some custom normals that I just manually created in the edit mode. So some of the edges are sharp, some of them are smooth, and they're just sticking to that because that's what I want the character to be. If I have some blades or sharp edges or some kind of hard surface details, I would want them to have sharp edges. You can easily do it, just make sure you don't rely on auto smooth because that's not the way to create your model anyway. So in this case, you have all the motion blur 
working just fine. So yeah, these are the main examples I have right here, but I would mention a few extra things. If you suddenly getting this kind of glitches, especially the ones that happen every once in a while, like uh, 10 frames would be fine and the 11th one will be a glitchy one. And it's none of these issues, like maybe you don't have auto smooth, but still something's going on. Try just storing the split normals data. It helped me in one of the projects with a more complex situation involving like curves and some kind of remeshing or something. I don't remember exactly, but the point is uh, this is a good way to give it a try at fixing it. Another reason that may happen, like if you suddenly getting glitches, ask yourself if you added a boolean to something because boolean also cuts the objects. If it's like a live boolean and you're animating an object that's being cut off, at a certain place, there's a good chance it will start getting these glitches because it's recalculating some of the numbers of the vertices sometimes when it's cutting in an, a little bit of an unfortunate way and you will get glitches in some frames. In that case, just really try to not use boolean. I don't think anything else really works there. Or of course, you can turn off deformation blur, but like, of course, hopefully that works for you. Another thing that I would really love them to add is adding the actual motion blur to metaballs because metaballs just don't have any motion blur at all for the same reason because they constantly recalculate their topology so cycles doesn't even try to do that but of course it's generally possible to calculate it like metaballs are based on a very simple function and they're based on movement of these base spheres so you could theoretically use the vectors of movement of those spheres to introduce motion blur, but I don't know much. So yeah, this is it. Just wanted to share uh, my thoughts on this thing after finishing another project that we worked on with Nadia recently. Uh, can't show anything about it, but yeah, there was an issue with Boolean this time that introduced some glitches with motion blur that added another day at least to this rendering week. That's why I've been missing, by the way. So yeah, now I'm back. Everything is rendered and sent away. Now we're gonna go back to the, the suit right there. You guys can see it. <laughs> the Rococo suit is in the corner there, ready to be used any moment. So yeah, this is it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I would make quite a weird Instagram 3D artist.